What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We're on yet again another adventure not too far away from Dubai We are in Abu Dhabi and I'm going to show you guys what it is that you can do here If you want to come and visit for a couple of days I've not done a video on Abu Dhabi on my channel and I thought it deserved a bit of attention So we're starting off this trip Yas Island That's a three hour drive from Dubai. It's a little bit long. It was quite uneventful, but it was pleasant empty roads very straight Three hours later we're here, we're just waiting to get a ferry across to the island and I'm gonna spend the night at one of the beautiful resorts. Let's go. Yay, we're on a boat again. We're on a boat again, so much fun. <laughs> Okay then, after 30 minutes via the boat, we've reached the island. It's quite a massive island. Apparently the whole island is pretty much a nature reserve. And that is one of the reasons why I chose to come to this hotel. I saw a picture of some giraffes at a hotel resort and I was like, oh my God, I need to go there. So here we are. We're gonna check into our hotel rooms. Apparently there's three different resorts on this island. I picked the one that was next to the beach, obviously. So we're gonna check in very quickly and then the highlight, we're gonna start a safari. And this was Sheikh Zayed's sort of um, project work for greening the desert. Was there any, any animals on the island before people came on it? Only insects and reptiles. For about 300 to 400 years, the locals used to travel across and go around this island searching for pearls. This is actually my first ever safari. I don't think I've ever done one before. So I'm excited, very excited. I'm gonna have an elephant here. Elephants, no, they require a lot more water to cool off and they're a bit more destructive. So fence lines like this will be like paper mache to them. Oh, yeah. They'd walk straight over it. Uh, giraffes are, as far as most people say, gentle giants, as far as they're not destructive and they only require leaves. It's a smelly area. So they're happy with us being around. If they all stop and start staring at us, that means that we've possibly gotten too close. The thorns on these trees can go through trainers, okay? So be careful what you're stepping on. Mouth on the thorn. They do, but um, what happens is their lips are much thicker than ours and it's more like a rubbery sort of textured lip, all right? So it's got like three times the membrane that we have, so it's much tougher skin. But at the same time, their tongues as well have less blood in their mouths. So that's why their tongues are like a bluey purpley color. Now a giraffe, when it's eating, can eat the thorns as well. It has four chambers to its stomach system, so it actually can regurgitate, chew it again, and then swallow it back down. And she doesn't have any trouble with us because they've seen this now. I've been here seven years on the <laughs> island. We've been coming in every single day walking around, so they're used to us moving around. We have a few predators on this island and we're focused now on trying to train cheetahs in helping us with gazelle population. We've chosen What's cheetahs because it? it's a safer uh, cat than it would be if we were to choose leopards, lions or tigers. Which one is the male? The closest one or the one behind? One further back, he's a bit darker. Is that the alpha? Yeah. I wanted to get closer. Like yes. Extremely elegant creatures. So peaceful. Pretty much just a giant horse, really, with a massive neck. But he's got a choice. He's got gazelles around, which are a bit slower and easier. And then he's got spotted deers as well. And he's like literally the only predator. Yeah, he's king of so, the hill so in this environment. <laughs> I never place more vegetables. 
Thank you, that was amazing. No problem. Let's talk, guys. I'd say I'm sorry, the so that's going to be starters, <laughs> and then the uh, giraffe's going to be the main course. Can't you need we? to catch it yourself. Yeah, get a fork then, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> so quick update, the tour, safari tour, was really good, unbelievable. Highly recommend you do that. Shout out to Mark for being the best tour guide ever. Then, went back to the room, had a little look around. I'm going to show you the room tomorrow morning when it's actually bright. Chilled for a bit. Had a little snack. Now we come to the other side of the island to have dinner because the cuisine here is like a meaty African vibe. So we decided that's what I'm in the mood for, not an Italian. So we're here and we're gonna bask in this very calm, quaint setting. We've got a gazelle over there, which we saw before. Yeah, very nice, very peaceful. If anyone doesn't know, spatchcock is a chicken. Chopped up, am I right? Ah, yes sir, you're very right sir. <laughs> so this is the shakalaka. Shakalaka sauce. Or garlic mush. Shakalaka bum bum. Yes. There'll be a bit of shakalaka tonight, I'll tell you that. Vegetables, corn. You're requested, corn on the cob. Oh yeah. Vegetable grilled. Garlic and a barbecue. I knew you'd want corn, that's why I got it. I'm thoughtful. And what did Rob get? Water. I no, Rob, Rob had water and a plate of cheese. Yep. Solid diet once again. <laughs> God. <laughs> Train legs yesterday. Grandpa. Anyway, that was a delicious meal. Very satisfied. Not too late, but got to be up early to do some more activities. And we don't want to waste the day, so I'm going to be calling it a day right now. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to have a lovely, pleasant sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning world! It was a very pleasant sleep. Oh! Some neighbors over there. Very pleasant sleep, although I did get woken up by a hundred birds at sunrise. It was actually quite pleasant. We are currently located right by the beach. Some kind of lagoon in front of us. It's very pleasant, it's very peaceful. So the rooms are very pleasant. This one has its own little warm plunge pool in the back, overlooking, what the hell would you call that? Whatever it is, the water is so blue, so nice. And then there's more of a like basic room which comes without the pool, it's a little bit smaller. Still very nice. Oh. Overall, very impressed with the resort. I like it a lot. Very, very peaceful. So if you are looking for a little bit of peace and quiet and to be literally stuck in the middle of nature on your own island, then this is the perfect place. For me, I'd probably be happy staying here one or two nights. There are other things you can do. You can go snorkeling, kayaking in the mangroves, you can do some horseback riding. So there's lots of activities to do to keep you busy. Shoes don't fit, but half of my foot is protected from treacherous floor. Oh guys, this is this is where it gets dangerous. Basically an unlimited amount of food, first meal of the day. I usually don't really have a big breakfast, I'm not really hungry, but I may as well enjoy it. I'll be starting off with some form of omelette, no doubt. The key is to avoid this section easy to overeat for breakfast and put away like one and a half thousand calories before the day's even started. <laughs> if I was going to eat, I would go straight for the Danish. You're not going to try? Maybe. Just one? Yeah, but it never is just one. It's like going out for one beer. It's never one beer. Yes. How do you like our company? He, he's okay, he can dine with us. Bit of a show off though. 
<laughs> Pretty wow. decent spread. Don't judge me by this, I have an omelet coming. This is just a random selection of things. Oh, that donut looks outrageous. Look, 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 look. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Went straight Come for the on, donut. Guys. Went for the donut. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely can't leave your food unattended here. Look at the company. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, the tail. I'm scared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoop. <laughs> Good boy. Breakfast was absolutely delicious. Did you like it? I love it. Yep. She eat more than me, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, I'm gonna swim it off, burn some calories. I'm gonna find my shorts. Where are my shorts? So, I'm gonna go swimming now in the sea because it looks beautiful and blue. We have a choice of the red teardrop or the black and white. What do you think? Black today. These are all restocked, by the way, on the website. So the red ones. The white ones now available, and there's a load of restocks on the active wear. So go and check it out, thirstofficial.com. Oh. Apparently, the sea has not warmed up yet. So we're gonna have to wait another month for it to be like pleasant. Still at genital shrinking levels. <laughs> And the guy said apparently there's uh, dolphins here. Maybe we'll be looking for them. <laughs> that is what it's all about, folks. Dipping in some ice cold sea, taking it all in. So there's basically three different resorts on the island. This one, Al Yam, is the beach vibe. The other one is like Middle Eastern, and then the other one is more like nature. So if you come in here, I don't think there's a huge difference in it. Just look at the pictures and see which one you like the look of. Obviously I like the beach one. This is why I hate doing my own vlogging, because cameras are annoying. This is why you need me. Ah! So, We've got back onto the mainland. Now we're gonna go to Abu Dhabi city. <coughs> Cheers, pal. Cheers, pal. Ruining everything. <laughs> Fuck. What's he beeping at anyway? I don't know. Fucking jerk. If you look up jerk in the dictionary, the guy in that car will come up. It's actually quite far away. It's like, a, how long is that? An hour and a half or something? Two hours. Friggin' hell, that just sums up how huge Abu Dhabi is. Abu Dhabi is absolutely massive, so. Off we go, on the road, and we're gonna go. Ferrari world. <laughs> so, change of plan. Went to Ferrari world and one of the biggest and best rides is closed. So, we're not gonna bother. We'll go another time. I'll show you in another video. Now we're gonna check into the next hotel, which is Emirates Palace. Look at that. What an absolute specimen of a building. It only costs three billion dollars to make. I have been here once before, but I've never actually stayed in the hotel, so I'm looking forward to actually getting the whole experience of what it's like to stay in the Emirates Palace. Probably, if, probably one of the most prestigious hotels in the UAE, and that is all I know about it. I'm sorry, my the, the facts I have on this place end there. Jeez! So 45 minutes later, we have finally reached our room. So this is the key card. It's like a silver coin, pretty cool. This is also absolutely ridiculous. The attention to the detail in this hotel is like nothing I've seen before. 
Very impressed so far. This is one of the sweets on the ground floor. Jeez. Got a bathroom here, which is rather spacious. We have the main living room, nice desk here, we've got TV here. We have, oh, we have, we have some golden water here. Water with 24 karat gold inside of it. Just in case. Just in case normal water isn't good enough. There's golden water. Another TV, walk-in closet, and a bathroom. And one of the things I like about this place, because it's on the ground floor, you have your own garden, and then you have access to the back of the hotel on the beach. Ah, so, very impressed. I mean, obviously you've got your luxurious hotels in Dubai like Burj Al Arab, but honestly I think this is absolutely way better. So good. So now we're gonna chill for a little bit. I'm gonna get a quick workout in, and then we're gonna head over to the Abu Dhabi Grand Mosque. <laughs> oh, so. We're just gonna stop off in the lobby and have a golden coffee. It's just something you do, isn't it? May as well have the golden 24 karat mad one as an experience whilst I'm here. There it is, it's been mashed up. It did look beautiful before, but now it's been mashed. Are you ready to have the golden flakes of sensations? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I've got one coming, I'm having it. Oh, here we go. This is the cold brew 24 karat yes, Batman. First impressions, it looks like an espresso martini. <laughs> so, cold brew, golden flakes, a little bit of cinnamon. Looks absolutely delicious. Why did I not get any dates? Because I'm a special. That's not fair. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Usually it's bad when you say interesting. But well, I was not expecting that, it's like, uh, it's a bit fruity. 45 euros, I think that works out to. I mean, obviously it's expensive, but it's not ridiculously expensive. 20 euros. 20 euros? Yeah. For this one? Yeah. It's all right. 20 euros, that's not too bad. I mean, most places now when you go to a coffee in Dubai, it's like 10 euros, so it looks pretty. A little bit feminine. Who cares? Eighth coffee of the day for me. <laughs> oh! Respecting the religion, covering myself up as we go into the mosque. Don't know how to properly apply this to my head, so hopefully <laughs> someone will help me out. So basically, <laughs> I'm just gonna have a look around. <laughs> that was deep. <laughs> no, as soon as I get close, I'll get seriously deep. I'll start spitting some religious bars. And I'll also be speaking fluent Arabic from now on, so enjoy. This is a very good time to come. If you come in the middle of the day, it's going to be absolutely boiling and you'll just not really enjoy the experience. 5.30, sun's about to set. Blue hour will be upon us, not golden hour, but blue hour, which is Rob's favorite. And uh, yeah, can't wait. There's a large selection of gang signs and other signs that you can't show when taking pictures. I wanted to go for that one, but I saw it and I was like, oh, well, can't do that one. It's <laughs> only love, why not? That should be allowed. There's probably a good reason for it. I also wanted to slide along the floor and I wanted to bring my teddy bear. So it's a bit of a letdown so far. is the most impressive, in my opinion. Like that. What's it called? The Mirab. The Mirab. Yeah. It's like a giant chandelier. It doesn't even make sense how that's been supported. But that is, that is extremely impressive. The 
There's many different ways to style this. Yes, and I know. And I don't know any of them. I should wear this more in Dubai, I think. It's surprisingly cool. I'm like, I'm only wearing my underwear under here, which I don't know if you're supposed to do that, <laughs> but it feels good. I'd wear white underwear though. Yes, and we're here, the one, the only, Salt, finishing off a lovely day. The mosque was really good, really impressed by it. I do recommend you go and see it if you're in Abu Dhabi. It only takes like, probably just one hour walking around, but there is a bit of faff before and after getting in and out, but that's just the way it is, it's life. Anyway, I'm absolutely starving. Last thing I ate was at breakfast time. It was a big breakfast though, I'm not gonna lie, but it's Sunday, and you know what that means? I have my cheat meal on a Sunday, and this is without a doubt one of my go-to cheat meals in the UAE. If you've never tried salt before, I highly recommend you do it. Excuse me, do you need space? No. I have all the space I need. Yes, I can see. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. much. I'm getting recognized more wearing this than normal. So, when you're at Salt, you get two burgers per order. So we've got the original. Can't fault the original. Also, these are ridiculous truffle burgers. God! Sweet potato fries, obviously. Let's tuck in. Do you want a picture? Madness. Absolutely mad. I think this one only came out recently. Ah! Okay, so that was delicious. Now, I'm gonna head back to the hotel. I have extended my stay because I'm not ready to go home yet. Rest of the crew are going back tonight, unfortunately, so from here on out, it's very rookie vlog style footage with my basic camera, so sorry guys, but you're just gonna have to deal with that. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day in Abu Dhabi. We're just walking around the back garden, I guess, of Emirates Palace on our way to breakfast. It's extremely peaceful here. I think this place is so big that you don't really bump into any of the other guests, which is quite nice. I honestly feel like we've got this whole place to ourselves. Absolutely stunning. So another absolutely outrageous breakfast buffet. This one is, I mean, let's just say I had to exercise a lot of willpower not to indulge in the baked section. Here we have a random mixture of everything, even got a bit of sushi. Can't be a bit of sushi for breakfast. We've got four egg omelette and, and <laughs> almond cappuccino for you. Cappuccino there. Also got some beetroot, carrot and apple juice. And the view, can we really complain about the view? I don't think so. Absolutely beautiful. A whale shark. We've seen a sea snake. Yeah, sea snake in the summertime. There is more windy sometimes. No way. I had no idea that this existed. Hopefully we see them all today, but not when I'm in the water, just when she's in the water. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you compare Dubai and Abu Dhabi? And tell me which place do you like more? Do you prefer? Oh. God, that's a very good question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would say Abu Dhabi is quieter, less entertaining, more conservative place in comparison to Dubai. I like it. It's nice. It's very relaxing. I noticed there's just a lot less people, there's a lot less cars, which is a refreshing change because Dubai at the moment is just rammed full of cars, rammed full of people nonstop. So it's good to come here and get away and just see something different because to be honest, I've seen and done a lot in Dubai. It gets a little bit repetitive. So it's, it's a nice change of scenery here. I would recommend if you guys want to come here, I think if you come for two nights, that's like a good amount of time because you can do all the cool like touristy stuff in the daytime and then you don't feel as though like you're rushed to get through it all. And it's only like just less, just less than an hour to drive from here to Dubai. So it's very easily done. I would personally, without a doubt, stay at Emirates Palace because it's just ridiculous. I'm sure there's a few other good hotels. You could try them out as well, but Emirates Palace is just next level. The place we went to the first night, the one at the uh, 
conservation park on the island. That was really cool and that was very different, but it was just so far away. It's like, I thought it would, it's in Abu Dhabi, so it'd be close, but it was a, it's an additional two hours drive in that direction from here, which is a little bit tiring and time consuming, but it was, it was definitely worth it. What do you think of Abu Dhabi? It's your first time here properly, apart from the F1. Uh, eu disse que esse lugar é maravilhoso e que eu acho que eu gosto de Abu Dhabi porque esse lugar, por conta desse, desse hotel, é um dos mais bonitos que eu já vi na minha vida. E eu realmente quero voltar muitas vezes em Abu Dhabi por conta do Emirate Palace. E a cidade é ok, não é, é bonita, mas o, o hotel é incrível. Yes. There you have it, guys. That's your answer. <laughs>